against the wind, a durable kite inspired by insect wings. Today I'll be talking about some lessons from insect wings to make load-bearing structures with enhanced durability. In general, engineering structures need to resist loads or to be load-bearing and they also need to maintain their load-bearing capacity over long term or to be durable. However, durability and load-bearing are two characteristics which are difficult to be combined in engineering structures. Hence, the majority of man-made structures are either load-bearing or durable. How could we solve this problem then? Is there any way to combine the two characteristics in a single structure? Actually, nature provides us with plenty of design strategies through which many biological structures have achieved a balance between the two characteristics. One of these strategies is the presence of joints. There are a variety of joints in nature. Plants, animals, insects and humans all have such joint-like structures in their system with a wide range of deformability. The deformability of the joints is controlled based on the architecture of their structures. Based on our knowledge and what's been previously done in this group, insect wings for instance represent a remarkable example of a balance between load-bearing and durability. A key to this lies in the presence of vein joints, which passively control deformations in different wing regions. By controlling local deformations, they play a key role in the overall deformation pattern of the wings in flight. Let's take a closer look at a part of the wing showing the network of the veins and vein joints. This is a SCM image of the basal part of the insect wing, showing the network of the vein joints. There are a variety of joints in dragonfly wings, which could be subdivided in two categories of fused and flexible, also known as immobile and mobile joints. There are two elements on the joints which are worth to be investigated in terms of joints deformability. First, cuticular spikes, which might have a noticeable effect on restricting the joint's deformations. And second, resilin, which is a rubber-like protein. Resilin is also known for its perfect elastic recovery. Hence, it could play a key role in enhancing the deformability of the joints. Well, how could we benefit from such design strategies? That's the main question which we are willing to find an answer for. Here we used computer-aided design and 3D printing to design and fabricate our bio-inspired joints similar to those existing in insect wings. The left picture is a SCM image of a flexible joint with a spike and a resilin patch highlighted in red and blue colors. Our design joint on the right side consists of a stiff spikes on the cross veins and flexible filaments at the intersection of the joint. We chose PLA spikes to represent cuticle and flexible filament to represent the resilin. This choice was made because of the similarity of the material properties, in particular the elastic modulus of the selected materials with their natural counterparts. Here, you can see how we fabricated or 3D printed the joints. 3D printing was done in four steps. First, we 3D printed the first half of the joint, consisting of a longitudinal and cross vein. Next, we paused the printer and placed a thin layer of membrane which had been separately 3D printed before. We also included the cutted lines into the membrane considered for the diffusion of material in the next steps. Then, we inserted a segment of flexible filament into the gap area of the membrane as a representative element to the resilin. And finally, we 3D printed the second half of the joint 
on top of the membrane and flexible filament. Here you can see 2D sketch of all the developed joint models. In total, we developed 9 different joints which can be classified in two categories of flexible and fused joints as follows. Flexible joint with gap contacts, flexible joint with gap contacts and spikes, flexible joint with soft contacts and flexible joint with soft contacts and spikes which belong to the category of flexible joints. Then half fused joints, half fused joint with a spikes, point fused joint, point fused joint with a spikes and fully fused joints which all belong to the category of fused joints. A modified joint was also developed to enhance the load-bearing capacity of our bio-inspired flexible joints. This was done by enlarging the spikes on the flexible joint with soft contacts and spikes. In order to characterize the mechanical behavior of our 3D printed joints under loading, we performed two sets of experiments, a static test to analyze the load-bearing capacity and fatigue test to analyze the durability of the joints. Here you can see perspective and front views of the experimental setup for a static and fatigue tests. A customized probe was used to apply a force to the middle of the joint on the longitudinal vein. In the static test, a displacement of 15 mm at a loading velocity of 1 mm per second was applied to the specimens and the force required for the displacement was recorded as a measure of load bearing capacity. The same setup as in aesthetic tests was used in fatigue tests as well. Here the joints were subjected to a displacement for 1000 loading cycles at a frequency of 1 Hz. The force required for the displacement was recorded throughout the test and the difference between the forces in the first and last loading cycles was used as a measure of durability. This is a graph which shows the results of load bearing capacity and durability of the joints. As it can be seen, flexible joints with flexible filaments preserve their load bearing capacity better than the other joints, or in other words, they had higher durability compared to the other joints. A similar behavior to the flexible joints with resilin in insect wings. The better durability of flexible joints made them suitable templates for the design of a modified joint. Our modified joints with enlarged spikes got closer to the ideal zone of the graph in comparison to the other bio-inspired joints. The modified joint had in average 10 times higher load bearing capacity and 1.3 times higher durability compared to its original form. In comparison to the fused joints, flexible joints showed poor load bearing capacity. However, this could be improved by several times using rigid spikes. This is how a spikes activation works at the joints. Similar to the spikes on the insect wings, spikes in our 3D printed joints worked as mechanical stoppers and provided the joints with two deformability regimes. First, a high deformability regime prior to the spike ac spikes activation in which the deformability of the joint is determined by the stiffness of its material. Second, a low deformability regime after the spikes activation, in which the stiffness of the joint is increased due to the interlocking. The interlocking effect allowed a reversible transition in the deformability of the joints through a simple design strategy, in contrast to more complex approaches in which materials with different elastic modules are implemented. Furthermore, spikes had a notably higher influence on the load-bearing capacity of the flexible joints compared to the half-fused and point-fused joints. This was because the half-fused and point-fused joints 
failed prior to their spikes activation. Both these two types of joints and fully fused joints which had a direct connection between their veins failed either by brittle fracture or plasticity before their maximum displacement was reached. In order to see the application of our bio-inspired joints in practice, we implemented our 3D printed joints, in particular the modified joint, into the design of a diamond kite, which was aimed to fly in a strong winds without failure. This is a perspective view of our 3D printed kite showing its different components such as cross vein, longitudinal vein, a gradient of the vein in order to reduce the weight of the structure, tails to increase the drag force of the kite and consequently increase the stability of the kite during flight, a Hilbert curve filling pattern to reinforce the structure of the membrane against fractures, enlarged spikes to get a stronger interlocking, a protrusion on the longitudinal vein to get earlier spikes activation, the use of rubber band and hooks to make a cordwise camber on the kite as it can be seen on the top left corner to increase the stability of the kite during flight and finally the use of threads to make a bridle point and flying line of the kite to control the angle of the attack of kite during flight. In order to characterize the mechanical behavior of our 3D printed kites under loading, we performed two sets of experiments similar to those performed on our 3D printed joints. Here you can see the mechanical setup for a static and fatigue test to measure the load-bearing capacity and durability of the kites. Flight tests were also carried out to see the performance of the kites in practice. The kites were tested for multiple times at wind speeds up to 50 km per hour. The kites which was designed to fly in extreme weather conditions could withstand loads applied by strong winds with no sign of damage or failure. Well, to sum up our findings in this study, we could say, while the 3D printed fully fused joints were suitable for load bearing purposes, the 3D printed flexible joints had the best durability. A slight modifications of the size and shape of the spikes on the flexible joint with soft contacts and spikes resulted in a balance between load bearing capacity and durability in the modified joints. Spikes increase the load bearing capacity of the flexible joints and further provided them with two deformability regimes, high deformability and low deformability regimes. Spikes further resulted in an asymmetry in the deformability of the joints in the same and opposite direction of a spikes activation. And finally, the application of our bio-inspired joints into the design of a diamond kite was just an example to demonstrate the potential of the joints in practice. Then, the use of flexible joints in general and spike-containing joints in particular could be a universal solution for developing load-bearing yet durable engineering structures. Thanks a lot for listening to this presentation.